Stephanie. As Lars mentioned, I'm a product manager, and I often have to take notes in a meeting. Today, I have to decide if I want to send those notes out on email because I want people to discuss them, or if I'm going to put them in a doc or a wiki because I want other people to help me edit them. With Wave, you don't have to make that choice. You can do both discussion and content collaboration in one tool. So these are our meeting notes. I'm going to add Lars, Jens, Greg, and ACD. And, and now I'm, I open, pardon me. Then you open it. Then I open it. And even though this is Stephanie's message, I can click that same edit button and change this to glorious. And then I can add an action item, AI, make more, better AIs already. Woo, like that. And so that's how easy it is for me to edit Stephanie's message. So you can see the wave pop back into my inbox because there's new material. If I open it, I see the markups. So I see the changes that Lars made. We haven't implemented it yet, but we'll also have a little description at the top that says Lars edited this message. What's important is I see these markups not because I wrote the original message, but because I saw the original message. <coughs> Anyone who saw my original message would see these same markups the next time they visited the wave after Lars made his edits. Right. Now, I didn't get to see the original message, so when I open up this wave, I just see the current version of it. Uh, but I do get to see that both Stephanie and Lars wrote this message. Uh, most of the time, I'm not going to care. But if I do care, then playback is my friend again. So I see Stephanie's original message. She adds Lars. And then I get to see Lars's edits. Now that I know that Lars made this, the request for more AIs, I'm going to use the inline reply tool we showed earlier um, to add my reply here. No enough AIs already. Notice that we never said, let's start a document here. These are all just waves. The only thing different here is that we chose to think of that opening message more like a document we're collaborating about than a message that starts a conversation. And then we're choosing to think about that inline reply more like the beginning of a conversation about the point in that document. But to the system, they're all just waves. And so we think this combination of collaborative editing and inline discussion makes for a very powerful collaboration tool. And I want to show you that with a design document that the team wrote a while back. Let me just reconfigure my client here. I'm going to go do a safe search, find the document here. Let me make some more space for it. And you'll see here that it's a rich text document. It's got headlines. It's got bullet points. It's got illustrations, different types of fonts. And then it's interrupted by these little snippets of conversation that help facilitate the collaboration. And as always, the best way to see how this happened is to play back the wave. And you'll see Steven, our trusted server guy, started out with a terse draft. He added the rest of the team. Where is the manager? Says, please do more work. Steven grudgingly adds another paragraph. He says, yeah, whatever. Then Stephanie, the PM, makes an edit here. She adds a comment there, starts a discussion there, and so on. I can use this slider here to drag to anywhere in the history of the wave. And so now, imagine we're done with the design document. Or we, fin we find we're in a good state. We want to share it with a wider audience. You'll notice it's not super comfortable reading a document interrupted by all this discussion. So we added this widget here that lets you hide and show sub-discussions. But also, just like we extracted images from a wave earlier, we let you extract the current version of any message in a tree into a fresh wave, like this. And now I have a fresh wave with the pristine product of our work, which I can now submit to the server and share with whomever I like, put on a mailing list internal blog, or even keep working on.